Dr. Elio Datumwesije says Uganda will launch its first satellite in December 2022. And to facilitate this technological advancement, three Ugandan scientists are already in training at the Chushu Institute of Technology in Japan. We have even already named it, we, we named it Parasat 1. Yeah. So they are already working on it in Japan. By next year, we shall not have had, of course, we shall not have established the launch sites. So it will be taken, we shall take it to what they call the COB module on the International Space Station. And then just launch it from there into space. And we're discussing with the Minister of ICT and UTL to have the Impoma satellites planned uh, where we can have our, our space center. Some of the activities we are undertaking is to put in place an enabling regulatory framework to develop a policy and laws and also make sure that we are aligned to the international requirements of operating in the outer space. Additionally, 45 acres of land have been secured in Kiruhura district to set up the National Science, Technology and Engineering Innovation Center. And the aim here is that we have so many people who finish universities and they have no jobs. We also have technicians and engineers who are not exposed to modern methods of production. So some of the trains in the technical school up country using a wheelbarrow. And now he has to put up like this building of NSSF. So you have to expose these people to actual modern tools of production. The march to streamline the public transport sector will continue with Kira Motors Corporation set to manufacture 1,030 buses by December this year for the regional market. 75% of the construction is already done. And as we talk, we're also in the process of procuring two square miles of land to establish what is called an automotive park. Because as we build the buses, we want to utilize the local resources. We're saying there are lots of bamboos. If we want to put the carpets, the floor carpets, we don't have to import from Europe. Over the next five years, the ministry is set to establish science and technology parks, develop automotive industrial and technology parks, and establish technology business incubators. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.